Hi hey YouTube, how are you doing? This is the Volshinator here, and welcome back to some Honkai Impact 3. This time we take on the Memorial Arena for the week. And for this week we have Flame Chaser Cosma and Dominator of Wolves Andreas as our triple S bosses, and Dark Jishwanian as our double S boss. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at our lineups and see what we did to overcome them. So first up we have Flame Chaser Cosma as our first triple S boss for this week. And for this one we decided to use Hersher of Thunder with 7 Thunders of Retribution, Narukami and Handel full set as our main DPS. Fischl with her signature gear as our primary lightning support. And Fallen Rosemary with Aris of Helheim and Turg TB Beach Party M as our secondary lightning support and Quantum Collapser. For our ELF unit, we went with Klein for lightning support and switch cooldown reduction. And for our Divine Key buffs, we make sure we have Lightning and Total Damage selected, as well as the extra SP on basic charge attacks. Alright, everything is all set up, so let's get into the first run of this week. Okay, how about that? Okay. Come on. There we are. There we go, 328. I think that's better. I think it's the second faster. Regardless, we will take it. Next up, we have the Dominator of Wolves, Andreas, as our second triple S boss for this week. For this one, we decided to use Lightning Empress as our lead with Mag Typhoon and JSTTM Newt B. Eponia with her signature gear as our main DPS. And Eden with her signature gear as our paralyzed support. For our ELF unit, we went with Klein 
for lightning support and switch cooldown reduction. And for our divine key buffs, we make sure we have lightning and total damage selected, as well as the extra SP on basic charge attacks. Alright, everything is all good to go, so let's get into the second run of this week. There we are. Mm, that was a little bit of a lower damage output, unfortunately. Six two six. Even better. Even better than what we were getting before. Hello, Stitch. And finally, we have Dark Ji Xuanyan as our double S boss for this week. For this one, we decided to use Griseo as our lead with the Lishian Astro Hearts color and Suzanne TB Beethoven M. Hersher of Sentience with Domain of Sentience and Homes TM New B as our physical support. And Palutinus Equinox Durandal with her signature gear as our main DPS. For our ELF, we went with Dab Dudu for physical support and switch cooldown reduction. And for our Divine Key buffs, we make sure we have physical and total damage selected, as well as the extra SP on basic charged and basic combo attack. Alright, we're all set up, so let's get into the final run of this week. So. Okay, that should be good, hopefully. There we are. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Easy as that. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for our Memorial Arena runs this week. All in all, a pretty hard week given that we have both Cosmo and Andreas in the rotation. Dark Jishuanyan, easy zero second, we take it. But yeah, these two, yeah, I. I don't like having to go up against them, <laughs> especially in both in the same week. Either way, we made it into the top 0.2%, and I consider that a win. That said, let us wrap up the video here. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I'd very much appreciate it if you did so. And while you're at it, please leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you thought of these runs. And if you want to catch more of my content, I also live stream on Twitch. So head over to my channel on twitch.tv slash thewalshinator and hit the follow and turn on the notifications to be notified when I go live next. I usually stream Tuesdays and Fridays, starting at around 6.30 to 7pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. I stream lots of Honkai as well as Phasmophobia and other games such as Genshin and Near Replicant. So if that is something you are interested in, I hope to see you there.
I will also be doing a special Halloween stream where I played lots of Phasmophobia and perhaps another scary game. We shall see on the day. I will be starting that on Monday the 31st of October at around 12pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And if you want to join our community Discord, there is a link in the description. Just click on the invite link and read through the rules and then verify yourself to get access to the rest of the server. Whether you want to request help in co-op, ask questions about the games we play, or even just hang out. We are a very chill community and we would be glad to have you. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye guys. Bye bye. Have a good one.